Hey guys, welcome to my 10th tutorial, and in this tutorial I'm going to be covering importing audio into Flash, music, all that stuff, and also just effects and whatnot you can do in Flash. So, uh, right here at the beginning, this is going to be the hardest fucking part of the tutorial. Um, you first open up your folder of like audio you want to get in your video, and I mean you can just highlight it and drag it and... See, then you get this little spinny circle thing, and you're like, dick in my mouth. This is so hard. And you minimize it, and you see that Flash is like, yo, bitch, I'm working, okay? And you're like, whoa, hurry the fuck up. And you're waiting, and you're waiting, and then finally, you should be able to see your audios in here. And now the hardest part is over. Okay, so we're good. All right, so um, if right here, um, audio gets thrown into your library, and you just like um, graphics and everything else you have in here, you click it and you drag it if you want to use it. And also with audio is right here, you can preview um, the audio. So this is a song I found and downloaded and I can listen to it like this yep <laughs> that sounds cute so anyways um with audio like background music especially you want it on its own layer so uh, I just made a new layer and I made sure it, I'm clicking I, I've clicked on it and I'm going to click here and then drag here and here you can see just the whole audio line wavelength of it and what you want to make sure of is click on here then go to wherever your properties is and you'll see sound it has that selected effect none I'll go over effects later and see here on sync there's um four different sync modes sorry I think that might get cut off but there's event, start, stop, and stream. Really, you don't need to use these three unless you're doing action scripting type stuff. Like for YouTube videos, don't fucking bother with any of that stuff. Wait. Yeah, yeah, with YouTube videos, don't bother. I thought I said the other way around. Sorry. So, um, you want to click on the bottom one, which is stream. And yeah, I don't really need to explain to you guys what the other ones are, but basically if I went to event here and hit enter you don't fucking hear anything and like if you want to do voice uh, lip syncing and stuff see on stream see you can actually like scrub this is called scrubbing right here that's sorry that audio must be annoying also if you hit this the like eye thing if you go like that oh it fucking still plays I thought I muted it my bad <laughs> wait if I hit that, okay, if you hit enter, it doesn't play, which is kind of cool, but, yeah, if you hit enter, yeah, so, anyways, um, what was I saying before, yeah, so, for stream, it makes it easy for lip syncing and just other stuff in general, so, I'm going to make a new layer, because I also voice acted some lines, and I say three different, like, things, not really full sentences. I'm just like, hey, blah, blah, blah. Blah, 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 but yeah, I don't. Here, I'll show you in a second. So here, I want to say my first line. I'm gonna hit F7 because I want my audio to start here, and I'm gonna drag it here. Now you can see that the wavelengths are here. Um, so here, I'm gonna hit Enter first. Hey CX! So I said, hey CX, like a bitch. So <laughs> I might revoice these. Um, Alright, so I'm gonna click here, go to edit, and you'll get this thingy, and you'll see these squiggles, which is like these squiggles. And um, on the bottom, here's some like tools. You can click this and it'll zoom out. Right now, I have mine on this, which is the frames. So see, like 150. Like, is that part 150? See how it, like, syncs up? So, that's, like, where it is. Um, 
so you can do this this controls volume you have to adjust both because um, one of them is one ear and the other one is another ear if that makes sense like if you're wearing headphones if I went like this I'm pretty sure this is the right channel I might be wrong I totally forgot oh no effect left channel yeah so the right channel got muted out and the left channel will only be playing I'll explain this in a moment um, anyways about before you can also slide this thingy and this will like crop audio so if I go like this and zoom out and oh, a little too much and grab this N1 and go like this it will only play this audio so I'm gonna hit OK and see how that like brought it in so yeah I could drag this and put it about here so if I hit enter hey CX so yeah I'll do lip syncing and maybe more movement for my character after so um I could hit F7 bring this in here like that or um, I could be lazy and just click here and if I click and drag it and create like a new keyframe of that it just like makes the audio again which is nice so I'm gonna go to edit and here I'm gonna go like this and so basically I just like cropped out the second thing I'm gonna say so hey see ya draw this Blah. So yeah, I said, did you draw this? Uh, it's a little quiet, you can't hear it with the song in the background, so I might have to revoice at that. But um, basically I was just trying to show you how you can crop um, your audio. So you can, um, yeah, so I just do everything in one recording and just crop it out like that. So yeah, and let me explain the effect earlier so here how if I went like this drag this down um, this is left channel which means if you're wearing your he like headphones or something right now you would only hear it coming out of the left ear which is kinda cool like I've heard people use it so like if there was footsteps or something like it would fade in from like the left ear and then eventually you'll start hearing it on the right ear as it like comes you know toward like towards the other way if that makes sense so it's cool um I don't use it that much I've used it sometimes but pretty rare and the other thing is you can click anywhere on the line to make dots and if I like drag this dot down and drag this dot down oh fuck. <laughs> um, damn this tutorial sucks I'm sorry guys so drag this dot down drag this dot down and drag this here um, oh yeah here you can preview things so if you hit play did you draw this um, I'm not sure if you could tell but um, I must be confusing because <laughs> uh, that voice is the same as mine <laughs> Bro, um, but uh, basically what this does is it fades it in like if I went like this if I drag these here hit the play button you hear fucking nothing because it's muted <laughs> because I just muted it by pulling it down there so if I went like this and hit play did you draw this it's a lot quieter, although it got louder towards the end because this was going higher. So if I bring these up, did you draw this? Then yeah, it kind of fades in, but I want it to be loud in the beginning. So did you draw this? Yeah. So um, I'm not sure if my like voice recorder thing for my uh, what's it called recording program. Uh, my video recording program I don't know if the audio will pick up oh shoot I didn't mean to hit okay um, let's see if I went like this and hit the play button did you draw this it comes out of the left ear I have no idea if it did it for you guys hopefully it does and if I go like this it'll come out of the right ear did you draw this so yeah that's cool you can play with effects and whatnot I yeah 
So really, that's all you need to know about effects. Make sure this shit's on stream and not event, because, yeah. Anyways, um... That is not all you need to know about. I was about to end the tutorial. Um, okay. Um, once you import your audio in, right click this and go to properties. Okay. So, compression is on default. You want to click this, go to MP3, and then you'll get your bitrate quality. If you don't know your audio, she is 16 kbps is utter shit so raise this shit up I make this on best and yeah this will make your file size bigger so I mean if you're uploading the sites like Newgrounds and stuff like actual flash movies then um yeah this will definitely increase your file size but I mean if it's for you to just crank it up because um yeah so you can hit ok and if you saw my uh, first tutorial on um like importing all your sprites and then um, smooth smoothening them um, you, you can remember like that after I did like one property I just went to edit and then um, repeat sound properties so I, I can just do the same exact thing that I did on this to here by hitting repeat sound pop properties so um, so this little circle thing is loading, taking its time, and yeah. So yeah, that's how you get um pretty high quality for your, your video too. I mean, control enter, you'll see that it works in your movie. Yeah, I'm gonna have to revoice that audio like peaks. Sounds weird. Anyways, um that covers it for this audio tutorial. I hope it helped you guys. Um stay in tune for the next video.